Hey guys, welcome to uh, SystemControlTech.com. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if I look a little sunburnt, uh, earlier today I spent most of the afternoon on a 100 degree roof changing out a uh, VFD on an air handler. You know, that's, uh, that's sometimes that's uh, part of what we do. Today's topic is going to be a continuation of implementing an energy management program and some of the steps in doing that. The topic for today is going to be why you should conduct a utility service audit. One of the things that happens over time as uh, buildings get renovated, as uh, you know, new buildings are added, there are a lot of services that get changed as well in many cases. Sometimes services will actually get abandoned and sometimes when those services do get abandoned the uh, meters themselves may not be completely disconnected from the utility provider and as, and as you know when you have a meter from a utility provider you do have to pay a monthly fee in most cases for those meters even though if you're not using them you're still paying that fee so it is a good idea and this is another one of those things that doesn't really cost any money it just costs you some time it is a good idea to actually go through all of your services all of the utility services that you are using and look to see if uh, there are some that are no longer being used look to see if there are utility meters that have basically been abandoned a good example is a water meter in a in an area that used to feed an irrigation system. That, that would be one example. Uh, another example would be if a building got renovated and actually, you know, may have had even multiple services with one within one building. If changes were made, you could potentially still have another power meter somewhere that is no longer being used or that uh, with through some simple changes could be connected to another source and allow you to remove that meter and you can recover a uh, significant amount of cost in some instances it really depends on the meter it depends on the you know the service your service provider and that sort of thing if you have a bunch of meters that are just literally abandoned if you turn those off and have the utility provider to just remove those and get rid of that monthly fee that is a cost savings it may not be a big cost savings but over a period of time that can up, add up to a substantial amount so once again just go through your bills work with your service providers and you know try to locate some of these meters if you have some that uh, that are not being used it's a great and easy way to work on cutting costs anyways guys this is just a short video that uh, goes along in our series of implementing an energy management program I hope you like it I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up leave me any comments down below uh, don't forget to visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com and thanks for watching <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,